W bins are equal size containers that store data values corresponding to its bin size. Hello everyone, this is Pracheta from Edureka and today we will learn about bins in Tableau and how we can use them in our data analysis and visualization. But before we get started, let's discuss our today's agenda. So in today's session, we're going to learn about when do we need to use bins in our data with an example, followed by the definition of bins, and finally, we will go through the hands-on in Tableau Public. But before we get started, if you like our videos, please do not forget to subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you're looking for an online certification course on Tableau, please check out the link given in the description below. So let's see when do we use bins. So when we make a histogram, we need to distribute our data in equal parts. These equal parts are known as bins. The data set gets distributed in its designated bins and is visualized in the histogram. The total number of observation present in a bin is known as the frequency of the bin and there's no overlap of observation in a given bin. So in short, the purpose of bin is to convert a consolidated data into equal sized buckets called bins. So as we can see in this infographics, we have a consolidated data and when we distribute it in equal parts of data, these equal parts are known as bins. So let us understand the concept of bins with an example. So let's consider a team of 11 players. Here in the first column, we have the name of the cricketers. Then in total runs, we have the total runs secured by each cricketer. And in highest run, we have the top score of each individual cricketer. Then we have balls and wickets. In balls, we have the number of balls bowled by each player. And in wickets, we have the number of wickets taken by each player. So in our analysis, we are going to use only the cricketer name column and the highest run column. So our problem statement is how is the team's batting performance and how we can make it better. So let's look into the analysis. When we put our data in Tableau, we can get a visualization like this. Here in columns, we have the count of the cricketer that is on X axis. We have the number of cricketers and in rows, we have the bins of the highest run. So here we have the bin size as 10. That is from a range of 0 to 100, we have distributed the data in 10 bins. From 0 to 10, there's only one player who has scored from 0 to 10, which is Zahir Khan from the color index. Then from 10 to 20, we have this bar where we have two players scoring from 10 to 20, which is Sachin Tendulkar and Srishant. From 20 to 30, we have Harbhajan Singh. From 30 to 40, we have Irfan Pathan. Similarly, we can see all the other players. So we can see who is the highest scoring player, which is Suresh Rana and we can check the lowest scoring player. So from this graph, we can understand the individual performance of the cricketers and accordingly, we can work on it to make our overall batting performance better. So this was an easy example to make you aware of the concept of bins. Now let's look into a bigger problem and learn how to get this done in Tableau. But before that, let's look into the definition of bins. So as we have already discussed the concept, it will be easy for you to understand the meaning of Tableau bins. So Tableau bins are basically equal sized containers which store the data values from a consolidated data set and it helps us to organize the data in a more systematic pattern and understand the trends easily. So it is useful in grouping a large data set. Now let us consider a large data set and understand the hands on in Tableau public. So here we have a data set of a credit card company which wants to expand their business by looking into the customers. So here we have the customer details as well as the activity details of each customer, like the gender and age and education level and marital status of the customers and even the number of products they have bought or the credit card limit of each individual customer or the number of dependent accounts that they have, etc. So we will have a age wise analysis and focus on which age group is performing in which way and accordingly take a step to expand the business according to the target audience. So for the target audience, we need to look into the age of the customers. So for that, we are making a bin on the customer age. So we'll right click on customer age. Then we go to create. From create, we'll select the bins option. So here we have a suggested bin size by Tableau itself. But you can choose your own bin size from zero to any number. So here we will go for five. We'll keep the bin size as five. So now we'll drag the customer age bin to columns and we'll look into the number of clients that we have. So this is client num, that is the number of clients and we'll take a count of it. So we right click on client num, 
and we go to measure we change from sum to count so this gives us the number of customers that we have from a age range so from 0 to 25 we have 195 customers from 25 to 30 we have 540 customers and similarly we can see the individual numbers but from this histogram we can check which age group has the highest number of customers which is 45 that is 40 to 45 so this visualization we can label it as well so if we want each bar to have a label we'll take the client num to label and since we are working on the count of client num we'll change the measure to count so here you can see the numbers like when we are going to one bar the number which shows is showing on the top similarly if you want to add color to the bars then you can add colors if you want to change the size of the bars you can change the size of the bars from here so from this graph we can understand that the highest number of customers are aged from 40 to 45 this age group so to expand our business we can focus on the age groups which are less in number like from 0 to 25 25 to 30 we can expand this number by offering credit card offers like discounted price or no down payment options or even give coupons like if you purchase our credit card you're going to get 50 percent off on different other shopping portals or if we want to focus on age group 55 we can focus on different offers which would attract this age group so this graph can give you a clearer visualization to how to deal with the data and how to come up with more ideas to expand the business so that's it from today's video i hope you've understood what are bins and tableau and you can use it in your daily analysis and it should help you get a clearer idea of how to present your data in histogram using bins so that's it for today's video thank you for this session see you again in our next video until then happy learning I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!